Welcome to A Musical Life. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and I'm in South Korea. I'm actually traveling for, for concerts and for teaching, and I've had the wonderful opportunities to meet some amazing musicians here, and I wanted to introduce you to a wonderful collaborative pianist. Her name is Chayun Kang. Chayun, welcome to my show. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm a collaborative pianist myself, too. And so meeting other collaborative pianists is always a special treat for me. And uh, we were both working at the Seoul International Music Camp Festival in Pyeongchang, which is a city about a three hour bus ride east of Seoul. And that's where we met, met you, and I met your wonderful collaborative piano students who were also working at, I think they were also, some of them were working at the yeah. festival, and then others were coming to take lessons with me in collaborative piano. And that, in the classical music world, that's kind of unusual, you know, because uh, most pianists, most music students study to become soloists, well, pianists in particular. Other instrumentalists work to join an orchestra, but, you know, we as collaborative pianists, we work with other instrumentalists. So for me to meet another collaborative pianist and other collaborative pianist students, oh, I was so happy. <laughs> so, Jayan, What's interesting about uh, when we met is that you told me your English, first of all, was perfect. <laughs> it is. She's not demonstrating. <laughs> so, Chayana, I wonder if you could tell me. Now, you were actually born here in Korea. Yes. See, I was born in the United States, so that's why my Korean is terrible. <laughs> but your English is fantastic. Tell me how you got your English so good. Oh, <laughs> um. I went to Baltimore Peabody oh, for my master's. Oh, fantastic. And, and, and who did you study with at in Baltimore? Yung Hee Moon. Okay. She was my teacher. Wonderful. And and then after I got married, I moved to London and I went to Guildo School of Music and Drama. Oh, for, fantastic. For my doctorate studies. So I lived in London for eight years. Fantastic. And yeah, we were going to just uh, continue to live there. But anyway, we had to come back to Korea. So that was eight years ago. So mm -hmm. yeah, I've been back to Korea. Do you miss London? Very much. Yeah. <laughs> if you had a choice between living in the United States or London, do you, would you prefer living in London? or? Uh, as an artist, my husband is a product designer. Ah, and okay. yeah, both of us are, uh, you know, character of our work. Um, You're both you know, artists. Life, yeah. Life in London was really fascinating. So mm. much to uh, to see every day, so much um, inspiring, you know, exhibitions, concerts, everything mm -hmm. was just very close from your doorstep. But um, when we raise a child, yeah, you, you know, Korea is really actually a convenient place to live. Convenient. And we have yeah. family here, so oh, sure. yeah, we're happy oh, that's fantastic. to be here. So now, when you were studying, did you study to become a collaborative pianist? Um, my teacher, uh, Miss Moon, she uh, really insisted I should uh, do the solo piano study while I was in Peabody. Okay. Uh, they just started chamber music department when I was there, oh. so I was actually kind of interested. And the, I still remember the head of the department, um, great cellist, uh, he he was like, Chayan, I really think you're a chamber music person. You should come to our department. And my teacher was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, and, but I, now I appreciate that I really focused on, you know, studying solo repertoire until, uh, you know, my master's degree. And then, and then when I got married, I, yeah, I was really sad to leave my teacher, but mm. then once I got to London, it was just a whole new world. And sure. um, Gildo was famous for particularly this vocal company because of Graham Johnson. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, so, fantastic. Um, and then I really fell in love with um, everything there. Yeah, mm. the song makings and operas and everything. So that's how I got into but I've been playing chamber music and accompanying all my life. Mm -hmm. I, I started playing at the church from age of eight. So mm -hmm. actually, that's the beginning of my chamber music life, I should say. Yeah. And you know, the piano by itself can be a very lonely profession because we, yeah. we can make music by ourselves. And mm -hmm. 
it, unless you really get into this world, it can be difficult to have opportunities yeah. to meet other people. But I, I totally feel what you're saying because I think I don't like being alone. I love war. I, you know, I was studying to be a solo pianist too, but I love playing with my friends yeah. much more than just being by myself. Yeah. So I totally sympathize with that. I'm wondering if you could share a little bit. I'm just passing through Korea. Uh, and I, I love the food, I love, you know, the course, the culture feels like home to me, mm -hmm. but I don't really know what life is like as a professional musician. Sure. Um, in Korea. In yeah. Korea. I'm, I'm wondering if you could share a little bit about uh, the opportunities you have here in Korea, as well as some of the challenges. And it is, for a very small country, it's incredibly dynamic mm -hmm. in so many ways culturally. I wonder if you could share your perspective on. So I was away uh, from home. I lived abroad for like 12 years yeah. and I came back to Korea. Um, the one thing, especially in Seoul, uh, it's, um, you know, mega size uh, cosmopolitan city now and things are changing so quickly, so quickly. Um, um, so many great musicians live in Seoul and mm. every day so such a high level of concerts are going on. Maybe too many great musicians we really <laughs> have to no. drive um, and very competitive too and people are working really hard and um, yeah just general level of music making is really high, mm. really really high. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's a great thing. It's a challenging thing to live here. Um, but yeah, the competitive part is a good thing and also a hard thing oh, sure. to live with. Um, and I think particularly as, and from what I saw from my brief bit of teaching here in this country, all the students work really hard, are very intelligent, are very dedicated, mm. you know, so it makes it that much more challenging to stand out. Now, I will point out one other thing that I've also noticed, that Korean culture, there tends to be trends, a very heavy emphasis on trends, where, yeah. you know, uh, everybody, when they like something, everybody seems to like the same thing, sure. and yeah. they, everybody wants to sort of follow along. In America, of course, we have a very individualistic culture where we emphasize being yourself, although, of course, we have our trends, right. too. I'm wondering if you can maybe share a little bit about how young musicians or how you were able to differentiate yourself mm -hmm. in a culture that tries to get everybody, in a sense, to like the same things and do yeah. this in the same way. I mean, again, things are changing really quickly in Korea mm. and, um, you know, people communicate through YouTube or Facebook or, you know, more channels to be, you know, individuals to stand out. Um, so I think people are using a lot of those uh, channels these days. Mm. So, in fact, um, one of your students, I think we were having some uh, snacks last night after the concert, one of your students was mentioning she has a blog and yeah, a YouTube yeah, yeah, channel yeah. And yes. she's actually paying for her school tuition. Right. Yes. Through that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. That's not rare thing in Korea these mm. days, it's especially young people. And mm -hmm. I think what helped you to be differentiated is that you had these international experiences, where you were in America, you were in London, and so you really had a much closer exposure to Western music. Coming back to Korea, I'm sure that gives you a tremendous insight and, and, and I would say even advantage, wouldn't you say? Yes, the, you know, the fact that I spent my 20s and uh, half of my 30s in abroad, that really informs who I am uh, so much. And, but came back to Korea, I met so many colleagues uh, who have similar background I like see. myself. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think Korea, the musical scene even, is changing very much. I see quite wide variety of uh, performance even in Seoul and also the audiences, the, you know, the knowledge and their interest is actually quite becoming serious. Uh, um, so the more I perform in Seoul, I feel more urged to 
yeah, just better program and、um, as a musician, as a performer, really,、uh, yeah, sincerely, the desire to show myself in more sincere way because there is this real audience who appreciate that. So,、um, in that sense, compared to a few years ago. Korea, just yeah, very exciting things are happening, both performers and audience.、Mm. Uh, people are saying the classical market is dying out, but、mm, and compared to K-pop, maybe yes, it is. <laughs> but、um, actually, no. The serious audiences you really can meet、mm. in Seoul, and surprisingly, many young audiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's also a very encouraging thing.、Mm. So. Very challenging to live in Seoul, Korea, as a musician, but also、uh, it is exciting place to live. It is exciting place. And tell me a little bit about what you're doing now. You're teaching so, in one of the universities. So I teach、uh, collaborative piano at the Sungmyung Women's University, and、um, and also I will start teaching piano literature at the University of Seoul、mm-hmm. uh, from September. But I mainly、uh, play for、uh, string players. That's the big part of my life, and、um, I play for this violin class、uh, of Professor Hyunmi Kim at、mm-hmm. the Korean University of Korean National University of Arts.、Mm-hmm. So I play for violinist every day,、mm-hmm. every day.、Um, <laughs> that's yeah. That's Now, what I'm doing.、Uh, do a lot of collaborative pianists specialize in, in a particular instrument,、uh, or are there pianists that do everything? Depends. To, well,、uh, depends on. But once you are known、uh, that you know these repertoires, then I guess more people are asking.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I play almost. I didn't mean to.、Uh, I want to play for other things too, but yeah, I, I get to play a lot、uh, for violinists and a lot of chamber music. Yes,、oh, that's fascinating.、Yeah. So、um, I'm wondering if there is any particular kinds of advice that you have or that you try to share with your students.、Mm. I know several of them are getting ready to graduate soon、yes. from their master's degrees, and I know、right. a lot of them. And I, 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 that's another thing that I see with a lot of the, the young people here in this country. They're all very concerned about how do I make a living、yes. as a musician. That's also a big you, question yeah. to me too.、Oh. Um, at the Sungmyung Women's University, we just started the collaborative piano、uh, major last year, so、oh, we've so been only a year and a half.、Uh, very, yeah. Are there other schools、yeah. that have collaborative music, pro- collaborative piano programs? Yes, yes. Some schools have very long history of uh, uh, the department.、Uh, quite. Much bigger size, like Songshing Women's University and、mm-hmm. also Kunua、mm-hmm. Korean National University of Arts. They they've been doing that for a long time and quite established program.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, yeah, we just started, but、uh, so we have only nine students, but we have four teachers,、oh, nine、wow. to four. Wow! Wow! <laughs> so they really get a lot of good attention.、Uh, yeah. That's what we are trying to do.、Yeah. Um, and. I don't see myself as a professor like, teaching some great wisdoms to my students. <laughs> I, I, yes, I could be more, a little more、um, experienced performer, accompanist. I really want to be an encourager, like、mm. really encourage my students because just as I look back, the way, the path I came along.、Um, I didn't really plan、mm-hmm. all these, the, all these opportunities. But you know, when you are not perfect when you start,、mm-hmm. um, you, yeah, you get、um, nurtured and cared and loved, and、um, you really grow up、uh, through actually playing with other great musicians and really constantly learn the constant learning process all along with your life. So. Um, as far as you have that,、um, you know, you have that the thing that I can't live without this.、Mm. As far as you have that, I think you can survive. That's that's just the one message I really want to pass、mm. uh, out to my students. So yeah, 
having the courage to have a passion for something, even when things get difficult. Mm. Yeah. Things are, you know, difficult. Like, I guess they. I really see uh, students these days compared to my student days. They yeah seem to have less opportunities. It's just two great. Uh, very capable musicians mm. um, living and working in Seoul, particularly. So, but still, yeah, the chances are coming. So, we, as we close off our interview, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to to spend to share your life and give us a glimpse about professional music life here in Korea. I wonder if you could share maybe some of your personal things that in terms of your musical activities that you're looking forward to mm. in the near future or some of the things that you are looking forward to, to aiming for? Yeah, um, I don't know. I really had just really interesting summer. Mm -hmm. So uh, in July, I uh, went to LA Montecito Music Festival uh -huh. with uh, five of my students and uh, yeah, we met great musicians there. Uh, I got to play uh, piano trio with amazing violinist Cho Liang Lin. And oh wow, wonderful! All yeah. those uh, and just yeah, just being there inspired was such a fascinating experience. And then I came back and another music two other music festivals, and then I met you. Mm. Um, and yeah. Really, I really want to thank you. Just uh, all your um, amazing experiences oh. and your teaching and your performance. Uh, yeah, really made me think what kind of performer I want to be. Mm. So I don't have that mm. answer. I don't aim things like in two mm. years, in three years. I don't have that. But yeah, it's just um, I don't know. But you know, I, if, if I may just share what I've observed, not just from you, but your students, you, you have a, such a warm relationship with your students. Now, I, I, you know, as I've mentioned before, student-teacher relationships in the music world tend, mm. tend to be pretty strong because we work with emotions so right. much. Um, and so there's always a, a strong, close bond. But what I've noticed is you're almost like an older sister to your yeah, students, and we, we've got some of her students here <laughs> that are directing the cameras. So, but you're like an older sister, and, and there's there's a comfort level where it's I find that really refreshing, because sometimes you know even with student teacher relationships, I mean th there has to be a necessary distance professionally, but you seem to have you know some teachers take on a maternal aspect or paternal, mm -hmm. like a father or a mother, and you're just like an older sister that your students can just really have a good time with and going out for nun uh, got bingsu which is this <laughs> korean snow dessert or, or even going out for beer with, together with your students that was a lot of fun <laughs> you know the sumya women's university was actually my first uh job that mm. i can really uh teach i i had other teaching jobs but collaborative piano it was yeah, my first job and uh and I realized it's actually not just teacher's part, it's actually also, you know, it's the um, both parts, working together, students' mm. part. So I felt really lucky that I met these great people. Mm. They are yeah, younger than me, but um, just as a person, not only as a musician, these great people, it's, I am really blessed mm. to meet these people. So yeah, we... Well, and I think that's the most beautiful thing about being a collaborative pianist. It's these beautiful relationships mm. that we, as a profession, need to cultivate. And it's good for our music, but it's also good for our soul, you know? Mm. Chayan, thank you so much for spending time, for, 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 uh, for your friendship, and uh, even though we just met, I, I feel so I close to you like a, <laughs> like a little sister. <laughs> your students are wonderful, I mean, they, and they're playing at such a high level. I can see that you've really given them such a, an incredible advantage through your teaching for them, and their collaborative skills are very, very impressive. So uh, I know their future and your future is very bright as well. well Thank you. I just want to add one thing. Sure. That, um, so we want to invite Hugh next year <laughs> for this amazing. Um, wait, wait, it's not about me. <laughs> program, uh, 
in Pyeongchang again in 2020. It will be the second week of August and yeah, it will be lots of uh, chamber music and coaching with him, possibly with me too. And, uh, and with her. <laughs> Yeah, so if you're serious about accompanying chamber music, collaborative to piano, then yeah, uh, check that out. Come see Chayanka. <laughs> Chayanka, thank you so much, and I really appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. <laughs>